I'm a mister today. I don't know why my husband gave me that mug. We have Mr. and Mrs. mugs from when we were married. I don't know why I missed it today. I'm very tired. <sighs> My ear, the ear update. It's good. <laughs> it's not flossmus, it's earmus. Um... It's really starting to go down. I don't, I was, I'm like looking at pictures on Google of like the inner workings of your ear and trying to figure out where this stuff is and why it's not coming out. So behind my eardrum is all the stuff that was the infection and my eustachian tube, which I didn't know, like ends up at the back of your throat. There's just like a little hole at the back of your throat connected to your ear. <coughs> so all of it has to drain down that tube. And I have to swallow it? I don't know. Um, I mean, there's like a minuscule amount of stuff that's behind my ear that I'm having to... But it's causing a lot of issues with my hearing. So yeah, my, I think my eustachian tube must be blocked, inflamed, or the stuff is not like dissolved enough to come out yet, but it's definitely moving. So I have some moments of like, oh, I can hear, and then it goes. And I think it's starting to contribute to this headache because like, I'm just concentrating on trying to hear everything properly. Um, and I'm just doing this all the time, trying to punch it. Like I've never perforated my eardrum but I'd really like to just get a pin at this point and let it all drain out this way instead of like this way. Um, my husband says no. I don't know if he's perforated his eardrum before. I've heard it's pretty nasty, but like at this point, it's been a week. It's been over a week since I started the antibiotics, the antibiotics kicked in fairly quickly. So I'm just waiting for it to drain and I'm like, how, I can't, nothing on the internet seems to tell me how long I have to wait before this is not normal anymore. So I have taken paracetamol and ibuprofen and an antihistamine, um, I don't have my little like water flosser, like I could aim it up the little hole and give it a flush out. <sighs> like people have subscribed to me over the, these past couple of days, watching my floss tubes, watching my floss misses. I'm glad somebody likes the content. Anyway, um, I pulled my um, my card for today is the Seven of Pentacles. Um, sevens are kind of looking, not back, but just kind of stepping back from where you are and looking at what you've achieved on this, this road so far. Um, pentacles are all about like your your hard work usually about um, money or like material things that you're creating. Um, which is nice for the end of the year. We're not quite there yet, but. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't really know. I have to, I have to sit and think about it, um, about what I've done over the past year. But I guess we're coming up to three years on Floss Tube. Did we start 20? End of 2020, me and my mum started. Yeah. So coming up to three years. I can't remember when our actual first one was. I think it was Twixmas. I think it was between Christmas and New Year. Anyway. Advent for today. I have to double check that it was actually. Ooh. This is nice. Daydream. Again, don't have this one. I'm I'm very happy with this so far. We're like, are we halfway through? I think I have a 25, but I don't think it's a thread. I think it's a it's an extra bonus thing. So we're halfway through the threads and yet to have a duplicate, which is nice. That's a very nice orange and purple and a bit of blue up there. Nice. Okay. So I did a little bit of stitching last night. I did, I think, 250 stitches on my model stitch. Um, which was good. It was like a good piece of it that didn't really look forward to. It's a piece of it that I'm just, you know, you just have to get through it before you get to the nice bits. <clears throat> um, so I did a little bit of work on that. And then my stepdad is up um, visiting, dropping off Christmas presents and just having a little visit. So he came round um last night for an hour or so um so I didn't get any more stitching but he did bring me this from my sibling who went to Japan in July and I asked them if they would stop in to Nona Nona Tamari uh, and Kohana, Kohana, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that terribly, um, but those were like two places that I wanted, I want, I wanted a Kohana scissors, scissors, the little snips, and it, they're so much cheaper if you're just over there and you just buy them, um, and, um, Actually, Stitchy Nati had told me about Nona. I don't know how you would pronounce that with a Japanese. Anyway, um, because I I tried to do Tamari in the past, but haven't haven't been successful. Not been successful. Not not been successful, but um, like I don't think I had the right equipment. So to get a little um, kit from there. And I've been told that there's stuff in here that I know about and stuff in here that I don't know about. So we're just gonna open it together. I haven't looked at it. Um, I don't know which kit they picked out for me. I don't know which kit they, I don't know which scissors they bought. Um, so we're just gonna find out together. Um, so the first thing that's on top here is these little, I don't know, they're wheat husk shells. I think this is like for the middle of the tamari bowl. Um, there's some like tissue paper here and I don't really know what that's for, but we shall see. This is Nona. Um, so they do like tamari bowl kits. So this tamari bowl, it's like um, traditional Japanese craft. 
um, you make a ball um, like kind of out of wool and then you I think pin or maybe there's a traditional way of doing it like a geometric pattern and you kind of weave and stitch thread to get this pattern around the whole ball um, and you know there's like endless designs that you can do in that and then these um, crafters dye the thread as well so it's hand dyed thread and like I think I was just trying to do it with probably not DMC at that point probably just some leftover kit floss that I had from when I did you know cheap kit cross stitch I was trying to do Tamari with that wasn't gonna work so let's have a look oh okay so this is the thread I think for the tamari <clears throat> Ooh. oh it's so cute so this is madder it's very pink this one's cochineal, just like a lavender. This is a very like light sage green onion. And this is a yellow pagodoa, pagodoa tree. And then, I don't know, what's this? A little envelope. Oh, a needle. That's a chunky needle. Oh my goodness. Wow. Don't leave that lying around, Anna. Okay. Oh, we got a receipt. Banuna. 2,519 yen. Don't know. I paid my sibling for this already. So this is like gift stuff. Okay, so I think that's all for the That's kind of all I need for the tamari. Um, and I think they have instructions online, possibly in English. Possibly I'll just, I think I have a book on tamari that I don't know how kind of authentic it is. And I wonder what the tissue paper's for. Do you crinkle that up in a bowl and put it inside? <laughs> Don't know. Anyway. Oh, look at the little bag. I mean, even the sh even like going down the little street into the shop that they have, like I was so jealous. Uh, okay. So yeah, this is the receipt. 8,800 yen for two things. 8,800. Did I want two things? I can't remember. This is so much fun. Oh, oh my goodness. That is so special. How do I get it out? Can I pull this? Oh, it's elastic. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> like the most special snips I will ever own. <gasps> it's the red ones! Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh 
That is great. I mean, I'm not even looking at the snips part yet. And that is, yeah, I can't even. And there. These are so special. Just like the little. This lighting is terrible for this. I'm so sorry. I'm sure there are other people over there. But that is, I can't even show you like the gorgeousness of that. And they're so light as well. Those are gorgeous. I can't even. In their little box and everything. There's a little booklet. Can't read any of it. Everything's in Japanese. I would love to go to Japan just to go to the to the place to the shop but also like Japanese are like famous for their like their steel blades knives and Alex loves his kitchen knives um so I would love to take him and like I don't know what the deal is like obviously bringing little snips through airport security and like in your check in your check luggage as well that's fine but I don't know how anybody would feel about bringing a whole set of kitchen knives back from Japan um but also Alex looks at photography and like their cameras are so cheap relatively you know um that we were looking it's like um for the amount that he would pay for one camera lens or you know whatever here he could buy two or three and then the um the flight and we'd have a holiday in japan anyway oh this is the english little booklet It's so pretty. I want these tiny, tiny little ones. Um, like I got those green ones to be, um, to take to Canada. Cause I don't want to like take big ones and lose them. And then I would get those ones and be like, oh, they're my little teeny travel ones. And then I wouldn't want to take them cause I would want to, I would lose them. Okay, so we've got some more parcels in here. Oh, this one's from Alex. Okay. Oh, that's exciting. This is for Anna. <gasps> and this is for me from Tokyo. See if there's anything else in here. This is very well wrapped. I don't want to miss anything. No, okay, we're good. I was so jealous of them going to Tokyo Disney. Um so they got me a pet. Oh my goodness. 40 dreams go round. Oh wow. 
Ooh. So you could like put it on, you can wear it yourself, you can put it on a bag, or you could link them all together. You know what these need? These need some pom-poms. Okay, so it's got a little um, safety pin, or it's got a little um, popper thing, so you could pop them next to each other. That's so much fun. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's so it's really like silky smooth as well. Oh, I want to go to Tokyo. <gasps> That's so much fun. Okay, so I've got these ones for Alex and Anna. Maybe if they let me film. Um, we'll show you what they got. I've been waiting so long for those. I will talk to you later, maybe if we if we open those with Alex and I know. Bye. Good morning all. I'm back to being a missus today. It's still very early. Um Alex has just taken Anna out to nursery. So I'm gonna do this quickly before he comes back and then I'm gonna go work downstairs today because he's working from home. And he has tons of meetings and stuff, so, um, that's fine. Um, card I pulled today was the Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Made, made, when I, when I pulled it, it made me feel a little sad because I was like, oh, what's gonna... What is on the horizon? Let's see... I like this book. I've shown you this book before. Um, Tarot Mastering the Art of Intuitive Reading by Teresa Reed. Um, so they they give like a description of the card, obviously. Other ways of looking at this card. Loneliness, distance, abandonment, a stormy time, infidelity, rejection and war. Sorry, did I just bump the table? Um, how to embody the energy of this card. I like this bit. Call to mind a time when you've been broken hearted. This could be from losing a relationship or getting fired from a job you love. Sit with the feeling, do not push it away. Breathe deeply and send yourself as much love as possible. A question to ponder, when has your heart been broken wide open? Yeah. Sad, sad card. Can't really, can't really look at it any other way. Um, and you know, it's all relative. I don't think, I don't think anything dramatic is gonna happen. Not within my control, anyway. Um, but, Like, it it could be, I don't know, I'm speculating. Or just try, trying to, I'm trying to, I should sit with the feeling. I should sit with the feeling. I shouldn't try, I was going to say, I was going to say something like, I go to the fridge and there's none of my favourite snack left and that's broke, I'm heartbroken because of that. Like, no. I shouldn't try and minimalize it. I should try and sit with the feeling. So I'm gonna sit with the feeling. Let's see where that takes me. Um, Advent, 13, unlucky for some. Apricot. a really bright light this morning. I'm getting all sorts of shadows that I don't like the look of. 
Um, so yeah, we've got like a, a brownie and a peach pink. Very nice. Again, don't think I have that one. Mm. Anything to tell? Anything to tell? Did some more wrapping. Um, for Christmas, I think we're done. Apart from I did do a last minute order last night. Of um, if any of you have got kids like Anna's age, like maybe a bit younger as well, you could like two to like maybe twelve. There's this thing called Yoto. It's like a little box. It's supposed to be for like limiting screen time. It's this little box and you have these like little cards that you put in. I'm sure I had something similar when I was a kid. Not as fancy, but like different cards that you put in. Um, so it can read a story or you like, do kind of like a Simon Says thing, or there's like, there's, there's millions of these cards. And one that Anna has is like a phonetics thing because she's, you know, learning, she'll be learning to write soon. She can write her name and she's got a pretty good grasp of writing the alphabet, but, um, you know, what makes up the sh sound and stuff like that. She's got cards that are like that and, um, you know, other important things for language development that aren't about writing. So like rhyming words and um, she's got a whole pack of those and she loves going through them. Um, and so I got like the equivalent in the math, math, maths, um, numeracy, because we haven't done much I mean they do stuff at nursery um I think they do equal amounts just Anna has shown more of an interest in words letters writing than numbers so I thought I should at least have the cards in there so she can pick them if she wants them um they sent me a coupon thing. So, Anna will have that, as well as the scooter and the yo-yo that she's asked Santa for. And she said last night as well, a bracelet maker, which I know my dad has bought her. I've never heard of this bracelet maker. I think they watch, like where we watch, um, she'll watch YouTube kids that doesn't have adverts or, you know, we just watch Disney movies on Disney Plus so we don't get a lot of adverts on, like, regular TV. My dad will watch regular TV with her so she gets, like, all the adverts for all the kids' toys and stuff. Um, so she sees something and then she wants it. Um, so I don't know about that. I hope that he'll just keep that at their house um so yeah I think we're pretty much done I did order some she got like school pictures taken at nursery um and they came back and I like, ordered the digital files and I'd ordered a load of pictures and I've got a lot of frames to give like to all the grandparents for Christmas and they haven't come in so it's like snapfish which I always use never really had a problem before but yeah they're not here and my stepdad was just visiting I think he's coming today at some point but I don't think maybe maybe the postman will be here with that with the photos so I can quickly put it in a frame and wrap it up and give it to him before he leaves um, again because I won't see him before Christmas. I'm very tired. 
and I woke up at half past four this morning and she had come into our bed at some point in the night and Alex, when she comes into our bed, Alex usually hightails it into here um, in the spare room because he doesn't sleep very well sleeping next to her. I think one because she kicks and rolls around and stuff, but another one because he just doesn't, ever since she was a baby, he didn't like, like sleeping on his own with her. Like if I was there, it was fine, but like he can't sleep because he's constantly just like, are you okay? Are you breathing? She moved, does she need something? Um. So it's half half that, half not wanting to get kicked in the back in the middle of the night. Um, so anyway, she woke up half past four and turned to me and said, Mummy, can I have my tablet? And I said, no, it's half past four in the morning. Go back to sleep. Cue epic meltdown. So I put her on here looking all, you know, face of an angel. I want you to know that she's... <laughs> She's not all that. She has massive meltdowns at half past four in the morning because I won't give her her tablet. Um, she went back to sleep, thankfully. Alex has taken her so I don't know if they'll have a little conversation because we like to do that like after, a, maybe not at the time, we always say like, um, you know, if she's crying, it's like, do you want to talk about it? Sometimes she says yes, sometimes she says no. It's like, if she says no, then that's okay. She, you just let, let her feel the emotion. And then once everything's calmed down, I mean, the calm down turned into just going back to sleep. So, um, but this morning it might be a, do you want to talk about what happened last night? Because that wasn't good for anyone, especially the neighbors who probably got a rude awakening. I'm just, I'm just waffling. Um, oh, Anna and Alex opened their um, gifts from my sibling from Tokyo. Um, Anna got a little box of um, Sylvanian families, like food. My sibling used to love playing with Sylvanian families, like, like so many of the the houses and the camper van and the like everything and my mum kept it all brought it up here when she moved up here and had it in the loft so then when Anna was old enough she like brought a little bit down and see if she would play with it and she loves playing with it but she loves playing with the tiny tiny little things the tiny tiny food and bowls and forks and plates and all that stuff. So my sibling had bought um, a little box of tiny, what I, I assume is like Japanese food, but for Sylvanian families. Like it's like legit Sylvanian families. Um, so there's like them really like fluffy pancakes and um, some like, what is like tempura battered prawns and some other stuff that I don't even know what it is. Anna's called it garlic bread, kind of looks like a slice of, I'm sure it's something else. Um, and, and plates and then tiny, tiny little forks and spoons. Um, so that's what Anna got. And then Alex got some origami paper and some letter writing paper because Alex loves to write letters with fountain pens and wax seal stamps and everything so that was lovely. So I just thought I'd let you know what they got as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go start getting ready for work. Oh, this, I was trying, I was watching Ali Misfit Stitches yesterday, trying to catch up on Floss Tube, like, I know when I put up Flossmas and the whole other, the whole rest of the world puts on Flossmas, your whole like subscribe feed just becomes Flossmas, Flossmas, Flossmas. 
And it's like, oh, I can't watch, you can't watch everything, it's impossible. And, you know, the viewings on these videos that I put out go way down, that's fine. So I try to find people that I haven't seen in a while or that just putting up a regular floss tube um, and there's some floss misses that I, I watch all the way through. Um, but I, Ali hadn't put one up in a while and I think she put it up a few days ago even, so I'm still behind. So I was watching watching her, so I was trying to, um, I just love her hairstyle. It's, it's so cool and she makes it look so effortless and I tried to do it and I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards, as my mother would say. Anyway, it's out of my face. I'm waffling. I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs>